Hey, just wanted to give you a quick 3i Atlas update as, uh, as I'm biking through the park here today. So a couple of the things, it's, um, it's past its perihelion. It's uh, moved on, that was a few days ago when it was its closest to point to the sun. And one thing that happened was changed color. So early on, it was emitting a green color and now it's blue, which is very interesting. And previously I had remote viewed or telepathically communicated that the, the alignments that were coming up in November are gonna lead to a lot of world peace, peace breaking out. And I think the blue color is connected to that. Um, so that's, that's kind of interesting. Uh, there does appear also to be a lot more off gassing or, you know, if it's a ship, you know, maybe there are thrusters of some kind, but it doesn't seem to be changing directions. So people had hypothesized that if it was going to do some type of maneuver, an Oberth maneuver, as it used the sun's gravity to slingshot itself closer to Earth, um, that we would expect to see some sort of acceleration or deviation from the path and that didn't seem to happen so far um, it seems like maybe a few ground-based telescopes and observatories are starting to be able to observe it again and the James Webb Space Telescope but US Congress um, representative Anna Paulina Luna sent an email to NASA saying hey you guys need to release the information, the photos that you took of the object when it was close by Mars that you have classified. Basically sending a letter to NASA demanding that those files and those images be made public. Because as you'll recall, the Mars rover had pictures of this weird tube-shaped UAP that showed up. Um, and so if we have clearer images from the Mars orbiter, we definitely are gonna to wanna to see those uh, to see if we can get more detail about the surface of 3i Atlas. So that's the update. Today is October, no, today is November 4th. So that's the current status as it stands.